So welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be diving into the top 10 Notion tips for students. This is perfect for a new academic year and will hopefully get you all caught up with useful ways to use Notion. Now, Notion is actually free for academics. You can check out the link in the description if you want to learn more about their student plan. Today's sponsor is Supernotes. We're excited to have them and here's a little bit more about them. So this month we're sponsored by Supernotes and they're offering a generous 50% off with their student discount. Now Supernotes is a social note taking application perfect for students and social note takers alike. Now what makes Supernotes special? They have things called note cards which can be customized with tags, colors and more. A very minimalistic style but has a lot of power behind it. You can even use a command prompt to find them easily and filter them down by tags for specific types of lessons and also lectures that you may be going to. You can also collaborate with friends inside of Supernotes, allowing you to share a note with them, allowing you to collaborate in real time with others. And the great thing is you can get Supernotes for free, but if you do upgrade to their yearly unlimited plan, you'll receive a 30 minute one-to-one -one call with the founders to walk through the application and discuss your productivity workflow. I've had Tobias and Connor on before here on the channel and it's been a pleasure speaking to them. That time alone will be worth the upgrade to really customize your productivity workflow. So a huge thanks to Supernotes and let your thoughts free with the application. You can find the link in the description below. So tip number one for Notion is to create a society forum. Now, obviously societies and sort of groups are part of university and college, and it's always helpful to be able to keep organized and work out where everything is when organizing those activities, whether it's organizing an event or a workshop, or maybe even a trip out. Being able to organize it is useful and helpful, and you can use Notion as like a wiki for basically capturing information and bringing it down so that you can see things like events coming up or maybe even what key information your team need to know or the society needs to know before they arrive in an event. The second tip I have is actually to upload PDFs and Google Slides. You're allowed to do this inside of Notion and it will really help to improve the way that you take notes, especially because a lot of the sort of intranet stats are provided by universities or colleges normally provide you with PDFs and Google Slides or even PowerPoints and being able to have them attached to any of the notes you've already created for that specific lecture um, is really helpful. Tip number three, now Notion can not only be used for academic purposes, but also as to build a CV. It's actually a really helpful CV because you can continually keep it updated and it'll be updated in real time. So if you were, for example, to create a CV page and build it out, if you wanted to modify it over time, you can, and what it, wherever you send a link to, people will be able to find that and see that in real time. So if you add a new qualification, it's a perfect way to keep it fresh. Number four is shareable duplicate templates. Now let's say you want to be able to share some notes for study then this is quite helpful but let's say you don't want to share the entire workspace with them just because you don't want them stealing all of your notes but to that specific lecture you could share it and make it duplicable via the template which means they can copy it into their own account which is perfect for being able to sort of bolster their own notes and if they have a Notion account it will naturally sort of fall right into place. Number five is Notion's template gallery. Now there is a template gallery inside Notion, but it's actually a web page with some amazing ones on. So if you're, for example, just want to be able to organize your semester, um, but you can also organize other things like your goals, holiday information, and maybe even uh, sort of life planning as well. Maybe what you want to do after university. It's a great way to sort of expand and grow your own Notion account out. Number six, there is a feature inside of Notion called Timeline. And inside of the personal accounts, you can use it, I believe, up to three times. So this is perfect if you want to sketch out your entire semester, what events you might have, what activities you might be doing, or maybe even what coursework is due. So I definitely recommend checking that feature out. Number seven is Class Note Template. Let's say you regularly go to classes and you want to be able to use a class note template. You could create a database and have a database template, which is perfect because you can craft it and create it um, to whatever your needs are. For example, you want to have a section that adds about the who was teaching that lecture and the start date and things like that. You can have all that information and it's really perfect along with the properties inside of databases where you can really uh, sort of um, make it look and customize it to your own needs. Number eight is global search. 
search. Now you can use quick find to be able to drill down quite deep into finding a specific note. There's actually some advanced abilities inside of Notion, which allow you to see all of the recent pages and more detailed, like for example, what notebook you put it in, uh, what area, what type of file you're looking for. It's really helpful. So I'd recommend using that global search to find specific notes you have in mind. Number nine is dark mode. Now, as we can imagine, students love to work at night, <laughs> especially because their sort of schedules tend to be all over the place. Sometimes it's partying, sometimes it's playing, uh, sometimes it's focus study, but sometimes that's going to be in the evening. So they have a dark mode. Definitely recommend checking it out. It's available in the settings tab. So number 10, and this is your final one, is set some personal goals in Notion. Notion isn't just about studying and sort of organizing your academic life. I'd highly recommend to set personal goals. There's some great templates on it, and it really will help you to keep aligned or focused towards something after university and not just have the focus on academia. Definitely recommend checking out the templates, but they're all of my 10 Notion tips for students and people who are going to college and university. Thank you very much, folks. A huge thank you to Supernotes for sponsoring, and I'll see you in a future video. Cheers.